Hello Crafting Divas, Maggie here bringing you a video of what I am working on these days. Um, I have just rediscovered and put together my sewing machine and so I've been playing around with sewing paper and um, sewing fabric scraps of stuff that I have kind of just laying around um, wanting to see the direction I would like to take. So one of the things I really have been interested in lately has been um, travel notebooks, um, travel sized junk journals, I guess is more like it. But so um, I decided to kind of play around with that. I had this, um, I bought this, let's see, I think it's a, it's a fat quarter um, from Walmart and it's holiday themed as you can tell it is like 97 cents for a fat quarter and um, because I've been sewing um, paper I have been making trying to make inserts and I want to get really good at making these inserts to post in my Etsy shop um, but we'll see if how that goes so I, I you know these are just some things that I've come up with trying to like feel my way through it I've never really done one sewn I've only actually even only done one one stapled and um that was fine and everything but I really love the sewing technique I love all the different things you can do all the zigzags and all the little um strings which I leave long um I love that I can create pockets like in this one has I made a little tuck spot here and then it kind of flips out tag style um the only thing that I was not having very much luck with is the stitching was kind of pu pu puncturing or ripping through. It was perforating because my stitching was too tight. Um, it wasn't loopy enough and my needle was too big. So as I was playing around, I wound up having all these um, inserts, all these signatures that I couldn't obviously sell because they were just not quality wise um uh, they're cute but they're just not they're just not um quality for selling at least not in my estimation so i wound up with what like six of these i, I think and i'm like okay now what am i going to do with all of these because i don't i didn't have a travel notebook if you will that was holiday related i do have some summer ones but um uh, it wouldn't match. So I decided with this fat quarter to kind of make my first traveler notebook cover. And it went okay. Like I said, this is a learning process for me. I, I by no means am an expert on sewing. I'm still trying to figure out a, a sewing, um, how to do a straight stitch, you know, how to keep the machine. So and I think this I didn't. When I cut the fabric, I didn't estimate or leave room for um, the stitching on the top. So it's a little bit tighter than I would like possibly for it to be. But when you have, this is just for me, so one, it doesn't matter. And when you have the inserts in there, it doesn't matter either. It, it sits fine. Um, and then I did do a grommet or an eyelet here and then just did some string. The other thing that... Um, I'm not real happy with is the th the thickness of this string. I would like to find, or not string, but elastic. I would like to find a little bit thicker of a string or of an elastic band. And I this is loose because I want room for expansion, obviously. But if, if you know you don't like it, or you could always go in there and find the center wherever that is and make it tighter. You know the knot as tight as you'd like until you get your till you fill it up so i am going to keep this for myself it's my first one um we'll see how they go as i um, start creating them since the quality initially are going to probably be real um high i will probably be selling whatever i create on my etsy shop for really low um probably just cost or materials and shipping um just 
to, so that I don't have wind up with all this back stock and if people can use them and they're okay with them being a little rough, well then they might as well benefit from my attempts. <laughs> my failures can mean your success. So look for, look for those to come up. Um, I'm going to be making these. I think I finally have them done. So it's just a fun, like, I think I've worked all the kinks on the, the signatures and inserts. And they will have various papers in them. This one in particular has um, scrapbook paper. Um, and it has coffee stain paper. So when I list these I will make sure to let everybody know when there's coffee stain paper in them because the coffee does have a smell I mean it's coffee so it'll smell um, like coffee not a very strong odor but it does have a scent and then it has some vellum and some more coffee plain this is just plain 20 pound um, copy paper that I stained and I um and then of course all this lovely um, all this lovely and I think this is um, scrapbook paper from a recollections pack from Michaels from probably last year or the year before I it's definitely not from this year I haven't bought any uh, paper in you know any Christmas paper in 2017. So this is either from 2015, 2016, maybe even 2014 or further. I kind of have a big stock. This paper here is from a big stack from Oriental Trading, I believe, from 2004 or five or something like that. And yeah, I just have, it's, it's hard for me to tell you where all the papers came from because um, I'm kind of a hoarder, so <laughs> kind of hold on to stuff. And this is just graph paper. And this is just plain copy paper. But as you can see, it's kind of perforated my papers here. So this will be nice to like make lists for Christmas and, and be able to tear it off like grocery lists and tear it off and, and use it all up. But I needed something to kind of be able to use all that and I will be able to use this as a junk journal kind of daily thing because I can reinforce any tears with washi um, and you know kind of put it back in there and keep it for myself um, well that's all I have for you guys today um, make sure to subscribe and let me know what you guys are thinking um, any ideas you guys would like to see me try now that I have a sewing machine, let me know below in the comments. I will try to find some of the paper packs that I used in this and list them in the in the description below and let you guys know where I got the, some of the papers. Now, some of them I for sure will not be able to tell you, but some of them I will. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.